Welcome to your weekly astrology forecast for March 20th. My name is Shauna McGrath. I'm the creator of Neo Feminine Astrology, where we use astrology to invoke your feminine energy. In so much of this work, we work with your unconscious and your shadow. And we'll go into that a little bit in this video, but if you want to know more about my work or to book a reading with me, go to my website, neofeminineastrology.com. So this week is all about facing your fears. There's so much potential for you to tap into your feminine, creative, and vital life energy when you go into your fears. And so this week I'm going to share with you two uh, aspects of the astrology, and then I have three tips for you to make this practical and to really take advantage of this energy in your life. So uh, the first aspect that's happening is we have a whole lot of Aries going on this week. Uh, the vernal equinox happens on Monday. The vernal equinox is when the sun moves into the sign of Aries. And so this marks the beginning of spring in the northern hemisphere and then the beginning of fall in the southern. And so um, Aries is all about initiating and action. It's about deciding. It's about doing. And the deeper layer of Aries that, that's very important is Aries is about developing confidence by meeting challenge. That's the core motivation of Aries. It's about developing confidence by meeting challenge. And so that's why this week is all about facing your fears. Um, specifically, we have Mercury in Aries that is activating a cardinal T-square with some of the outer planets. So the cardinal T-square, it's been happening for a while and it will continue to happen over um, a large part of this year. But Mercury's coming in and it's kind of like sparking uh, a little bit of activation there. Uh, so Mercury is your conscious mind. It's the things that you think about. It is what you're aware of. And this T-square involves Pluto, Uranus, and Jupiter. So I know that's a lot of information. The, the basics of this though, this T-square, is that it's awakening and liberating by going into the shadow. It's liberation through unearthing unconscious material. And so what's beautiful is when Mercury comes in here, it actually allows for that. It allows for the unconscious to become conscious. And, uh, you know, we can even see this, this T-square has been going on since the, uh, the elections in the U.S. Um, last year. So uh, we can see that a lot, the way that the, the women's movement has been like vitalized by the shadow, by the presidential election. And so, um, so this week, it's good just to notice what shadow material may come up for you where it seems like maybe there's something that's outdated or there's a part of yourself that's reflected to you either internally or um, outside by, by meeting with someone else that challenges you, it's important to notice like what's really happening there. Um, and so in the tips I have um, that will help you to do that this week. Uh, the, the second aspect that's happening is we have Venus conjunct the sun this week. Venus is still retrograde, so both of this um, both of these planets, the Sun and Venus, are in Aries. So this is really about what is it that you love to give? What is it that you love to do? Um, especially since Venus is retrograde, what is it that that you're like, oh, I forgot like that I love this, or I forgot that I have this to give. I forgot that I have this as a resource. Venus is about money and love and sex, and a deeper layer of this is it's about what you value and it's about your resources, like your internal resources, what it is that you have to give. So in light of all of these aspects, I have three tips for you. So tip number one is to view your emotions as guidance. That's so important this week um, because the fear that may come up or um, it may even be anger or guilt or other um, strong emotions, those are all just guidance. They're guidance for you to understand what you value and what is very important to you. These are all Venus themes, what it is that you value and, um, and what it is that you have to give. So um, this is so important because this week there may be an emotional charge around something that happens. And so 
whatever, um, whenever there's an emotional charge, that just means that that's a situation that, that is beneficial for you to look at. There's some kind of unconscious material that wants to be known, that wants to become conscious. So that's tip number one, to view your emotions as guidance. Tip number two is don't take anything personally. Uh, this week, because emotions may be running higher for people, and you know we're all experiencing this Venus retrograde energy. So it is this idea of where people are like, what the fuck do I value? Like, what's important to me? And um, so don't take anything personally. Um, typically, uh, it's kind of both. Like if someone responds to you in a certain way, it's really probably more about them than it is about you. It's always good to look at the emotions that come up, but at the same time, like sometimes it's, it's just their stuff and it's good to not take it personally. So that's a good reminder for this week. Uh, number three is to write down your top challenge related to work, or I'm sorry, write down your top challenge related to money, love, sex, and intimacy. And these are all Venus themes again. So because Venus is meeting with the sun this week, um, the sun acts as a spotlight for things. So this is a really amazing week to look at um, what challenges have come up for you, especially this month, especially in the month of March since Venus re went retrograde on March 4th. So uh, what are your top challenges related to money, love, sex, intimacy, anything like that? What, what's, what's been a common theme for you? So those are your three tips for the week. Um, again, if you want to go deeper into these themes or if there's something that you're struggling with and um, especially unconscious patterns, they, they tend to repeat until we realize what's really going on underneath the surface. That's why I give you these tips because they help you to do that. But if you would like to go deeper and look at your chart individually, uh, go to my website to book a reading with me, neofeminineastrology.com. I'm wishing you a wonderful week and sending lots of love. I will talk to you soon. Namaste.